Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Lulu. I'm glad you're here. So when I went to that meetup uh, last week in New Hampshire, I met a few new people. Uh, one woman, her name is Lynn, and um, she uh, is a viewer on my channel. And she messaged me and asked me if she could join us. So I said, I'll ask the hostess and see if there's room for one more. And there was, and she came. And she was lovely. She was so funny. <laughs> she was so funny. She was just cracking me up the whole time. Uh, one thing she said that was was killing me, like we, we were talking about like lifestyles and stuff. And uh, she says, you know, I don't do ups. I only do downs. And so like, we're all looking at her like, like we're confused. And she says, you know, like I don't do ups. Like I don't do like sit ups and push ups and pull ups. I only do downs. Like I, I sit down, I lay down, I chow down. <laughs> <laughs> she was cracking me up. So anyway, she just had a really great sense of humor, great delivery. And she was just lovely with her, her little dog and her van. She had a, a white van that had flowers, decals all over it, like all over it. It looked like a flower power van. She was just fun, fun, fun. So uh, a couple of the gals have these awnings for their vans. And um, they're like kind of like tent awnings. And uh, I was asking about them. So because I was thinking, I wonder if I would like one of those, especially for the beach, um, for to be out of the sun, if I felt like being out of the sun, which isn't that often because I love the sun. But for a whole full day, you, you kind of need a break from the sun. Also, um, for when it's raining, to have the door open still. So I was asking all about it. The different kinds and stuff. I was asking a couple of people that have them. I was asking about the pros and cons of different kinds. So this woman, Lynn, said, you know something? I have a couple of them. Um, I bought one and then it seemed to be a little bit too much work to set it up. So I found one that's less work to put it up. She goes, I've just been carrying the extra one around with me just in case I meet somebody that could use it. And she said, you want it? And I was just like, sure. So I have the one that's uh, supposedly, I don't have anything to compare it to because I haven't even seen any be set up in different ways. Um, but I have the one that is less convenient to put up. Uh, but she gave it to me and I thought that was really lovely. So I thought it doesn't really take up that much space. And I found a spot for it right here. If you know, if you remember over here, is where I keep my sleeping bag and my little mat. And I found that if I take this mat out and I put this here and I can put this mat on top, basically it's not really taking up any more space for me. So that works out really well. So I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna show you what I got. So over this side is where I would set it up because this is where I come in and out. So. What I'm going to do is take out the awning, which is this right here, and I'm going to lay it out like this. Okay. There we go. So now in this bag, I have these these two things. I'm gonna make these. Um, I'm gonna say it takes a good ten minutes to to uh, set this up. So you know, it's ten minutes. Like, is it worth it for ten minutes? I'll always have to remember before I decide to set it up. Is it worth it for ten minutes? And ten minutes is really not that big of a deal. So there we have that. So now I'm going to put this in here and I'm going to push it through, push it through, push it through. There we go. And then this end goes right in this little 
little circle thingy. I'm going to take off my sandals. There we go. And then over here, this end goes in this circle. There we go. So now we get the other one. And you know, there's three, uh, there's three ways I can use this once it's set up. And I'm going to show you those three ways. There's three options, depending on uh, where I am, what my situation is. So this one goes in this little sleeve right here. You gotta get across there. So I already see that this this one that I'm putting in now is underneath the other one. So I've learned right this moment that um, that doing the bottom one first would be helpful. But you know, we all just figure it out as we go along. Oh, it's like a kite. <laughs> there we go. Let me get this corner. Okay. Two poles and it's through. So... There's a little window right here. I'll show you that after. So basically, I'm going to bring this right here, right like that. And in this bag, I put two of these carabiner hooks. You know these carabiner hooks that go like this? They go like this and you can hook things on them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this up here like this because that's where it's going to be hooked on to the, to the vehicle. Straighten this out. So now, so I'm going to put this right here on this little hole and then I'm going to put it On here, there we go. And the other side, same thing. I'm gonna put it right in this little little hole on my roof rack. And then I'm gonna put it in on around the pole. So now it's completely hooked to my van. So now, option number one is to use it just like this. And I'll show you how that, would, how that would look. So basically, I've created a little area of shade. I'm sheltered from the rain. If it was raining right here, my whole door, I won't get rain right here. So I could you know, stand here and um, stand out here and do things in my van, which would be really awesome. And then right over here is a window. If I wanted to open a window, you just unzip. Unzip. And then just roll it up like this and tie it up like that. <laughs> so that's one way of using it. Another way of using it would be like this, say I'm traveling with somebody. Just say they're parked right here. So they're parked beside me right here. I pick this up. I attach these two to their roof, okay? So now between the two vans, 
we have a roof between the two vans. How cool is that? That would give us a place to sit in the shade and it would also um, um, shelter us from the rain. So that would be really good. Just like that. Look at that. Van to van. Van to van. So now, by the way, I can use this. All right. So these poles right here, they're all, um, they're all separate. They're not connected. And the reason they're not connected is because you can choose your height. So there's one that has a little rubber stopper on the bottom. That would be for the ground. And then there's one that has this little uh, pointy thing that will go in the grommet of the uh, strap there. So basically, I'm going to put this together like this. I'm going to just use them all, and we'll just see uh, how high it is and how you might want it a little bit lower if you decided you wanted it lower. There's one. Oh, it also has these little clips right here to clip it on. There we go. I forgot about those clips. So now we got this one in this little hole. This one in this little hole on the strap. And so now this is not going to stay because it needs the guy lines. So it comes with the guy lines. So this is not going to just stay up by itself. Eventually, it would blow over. But check that out. How cool is that? How cool is that? It's so great. So now, it comes with, it comes with these suction cups, these great big suction cups. And that would be that, like, if I was going to hook it onto my van and I didn't have a roof rack, then these big suction cups will stick right to the top of the van. And then it has the hooks on it to, the, to attach it. Or if I was with somebody that had a van without a uh, roof rack and I wanted to um, join together with them. So now um, in here are the guy lines and the stakes. So the guy lines would just come right off of here like that. And that might even be what these are for. These these little things in the middle, I think that's for guy lines too. I bet you this, there might be four in here. Plus there's, um, there's stakes. So here's all the stakes. And these are all the guy lines. So I can't tell really how many are here. <laughs> but I'm going to say at least four. One, two, three, four. I think you'd need four. Now, what I could do is make this a little bit shorter by just having one less. I can just pick my height. I, I haven't used it yet because I just got it. I don't know what, what would be, oh, I know what it is. It would be as however tall your van is. So like that height, if you come over here and look at it this way, that height is for my van. I was wondering what would it matter how, 
high it went and how low it went. Uh, but I can see it depends on the height of your vehicle. So I can see right now all of these minus one is the perfect height for my vehicle. And here is the shade right here. And I can just be right on the beach um, if it's raining or if it's too sunny. So I think that it seems like it would be worth it. I'm going to say it was like probably a 10 minute setup. And um, it's, it's a small investment of time to have something that's going to shelter you like this. Um, clearly, this is not going to be something I would put up everywhere. If I was going camping for a few days, definitely I would set it up. Um, so if I'm at the beach and I'm, I'm like this, I would never want not, the poles not to be there because then the front would be to the ground and then... I would have no view of the beach, you know. I'm trying to figure out what those, what these two ties are for. What were those before? Oh, I think I just realized. There's another one of these, and I was wondering what this was for. It was a shorter one, and I was just like, what is this for? I can't figure out what this is for. And guess what? I just figured out what it's for. Though these little things are not for guy lines. So I just realized that this takes another pole right here. And, and here's your little ties for that. It just makes it a little bit more, a little bit more taut. And um, yeah, I can just, I can just really put you using this and I'm really grateful to own it. And you know, if I love it, I love having it and I find myself wanting to set it up all the time. And then I find myself aggravated with the 10 minutes that it takes or with just the, just, you know, it's not easy with the poles and any, any tent that you're setting up, it takes time and you got to feed the poles through the sleeves and you have to, you know, Sometimes it's easier with two people than one. But you know something? It's doable. And I'm grateful to own it today. And thank you, Lynn. Thank you so much. And Lynn has a YouTube channel. It's called Milo, Otis, and Me. M-I-L-O is Milo. That's her dog. Otis, O-T-I-S. That's her van. And me. That's her. Milo, Otis, and Me. It's her new YouTube channel. Um, and she's just, she's a d delightful woman. So... Go visit her over there and bye for now.